Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. We are going to do number 5 today, where we uh, determine the side, the unknown side, and we might use sine, we might use cosine. Oh, the suspense. I know you can hardly uh, contain it as well. Okay, let's draw our first triangle. Right angle, a side of 15, an angle of interest of 64 degrees and an unknown side. Okay, I see an unknown side with hypotenuse, right? Across from the right angle, we have H, and then next to our angle of interest, we have the adjacent side. So that's A and H. If we write out, Sokotoa, A and H is cosine. So that means that we're going to use the cosine version of uh, the ratio. We're not going to use tan, we're going to use cosine. So that means we just write this one as cos, C-O-S, the first three letters, of 64. I'll just write our theta, our angle of interest, is equal to, what do we say? Oh yes, adjacent over hypotenuse. So we can go ahead and plug in the things that we know and that we don't know. Cosine of 64 is equal to the adjacent side we said was 15 and the hypotenuse is the unknown, that's x. When it is on the bottom, the unknown is on the bottom, we are gonna, that is a red marker, we're gonna go ahead and flip that around with what is on the top, on the other side. What we end up with is x is equal to 15 divided by the cosine of 64. Let's go ahead and find out what the cosine of 64 is. 64 cosine, that's 0.438, and then we round that last one up to 4. So now we're going to be able to find out what x is. x is equal to 15 divided by 0.4384, that's 34.2. Okay, our hypotenuse should be our longest side, so it's longer than this one. That is good, that is what we want. Um, so using cosine is very similar to using tan, and uh, using sine will be very similar as well. Let's go, let's do another one. We have a right angle, we have our angle of interest, and we have that side. Okay, this says 65, I know I made it a little small, I should just write them bigger. But let's label our sides. Across from the right angle is going to be the hypotenuse. And then across from our angle of interest is the opposite side. So that means that we have, let's, we have the opposite and the hypotenuse side that we're interested in. So that would be sine. So sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of theta is 65, right? Our angle of interest, opposite is 18, and our unknown hypotenuse is x. So we can switch those two around. x is equal to 18 divided by the sine of 65. x is equal to 18. Let's find out what sine of 65 is. 65 sine. Again, yours might be different when doing that. I'll try it again, 65 sine, yeah, 0 0.9063, which means that x is equal to, let's go ahead and do that, 18 divided by 0 0.9063, 19 point nine. that's what we'll go with. Okay, and that we're looking for our hypotenuse that should be the longest side. That does make sense. Let's proceed and do a couple more. Now it's a little cut off at the top, but you get the idea. We have this as our triangle, side x. It's our right angle, 15. Angle of interest is 39 degrees. Okay, let's label our sides. Across from the, hypotenuse, uh, across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, that's h. And then again, across from our angle of interest would be O. This would be A, but we have nothing there, so we have no reason to label it. 
Uh, we have opposite and adjacent, or sorry, opposite and hypotenuse. Let's try to think of which uh, ratio we would use. So katoa, so O and H are with sine, so that means that sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 39 is equal to opposite as our unknown. Hypotenuse is 15. We want to get x all by itself on this side. So we take the 15, it's on the bottom. On this side, we move it to the top. On the other side, that's sine of 39 multiplied by 15 is equal to x. We go ahead and do that in our calculator. 39 sine is 0.6293. Multiply that by 15. 9.4, we'll just call it 9.4. I don't know why I wanna keep going. Okay, there it is. 9.4 for our answer. And again, it's less than our pot new, so that makes sense. Just easy things to just confirm that they make sense or they don't, if you've made a mistake. All right, we have an angle of interest of 61, this bottom side X and the hypotenuse is 16. Okay, let's go ahead and label our sides. Across on the hypotenuse, that's H. Then our angle of interest, we have what's next to it, so that's adjacent. So that would be cosine, right? C-A-H, cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means cosine of 61, adjacent is x, hypotenuse is 16. We're going to go ahead and move the 16 up to the top to the other side. So that is cosine of 61 multiplied by 16 is equal to x. That would be, let's see, let's do the cosine of 61, 0.4848. Should not be another decimal there, just so you know. 0.4848 equals x, and we'll go ahead and we'll do that in our calculator. 7.8 is the value of that side. And again, it's smaller than the hypotenuse. That makes sense overall. Uh, if you guys have questions about how to identify sides based on the angle of interest or anything of that nature, anything in this or the last couple of lessons, please let me know. Stop me. Ask a friend. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you soon.